Welcome back. Um, in this video, we are going to discuss what happens to the time frequency indexing when we do the downsampling. Okay, so um, in the previous video, we had seen um, the relationship that um, f times t, which is in the analog domain, it maps equivalent to the digital domain with k times n by capital N. Okay, this was about the main fundamental relationships that we had established in the previous video. So what it says is that if I have the analog signal with some frequency, spanning over some time, running time, then I can do the equivalent mapping by k times n by capital N, where n is my running time index, k is my running frequency index, and n is the number of sample points in the time and frequency both, okay? So they are equal. So um, we can say here that n is nothing else but my running time. It is my running time. And k, small k, is my running frequency index, okay? It is my running frequency index. Running frequency index. And N, capital N, is my total number of sample points. Total number of sample points. Okay, so now what we want to do is, um, we want to establish a relationship when we downsample the already sampled signal. So what I mean to say is, um, Okay, let me try to draw uh, some graph so that um, we can get a clear understanding. So, um, if you remember last time we had seen that um, if we have some analog signal, so let's say um, this is my analog signal going something like this, okay, with infinite resolution, and this is my time t, running time t, and this is some amplitude a, okay, and I want to convert this analog signal into the discrete domain. So in order to do that, I need to specify the sampling frequency, right? That's what we had discussed in the previous lectures. So let's say the sampling frequency is fs, okay? And I'm going to pick up the sample at these intervals. So these are the intervals at which I'm supposed to pick up the sample um, from the analog signal. So what samples I'm going to pick up? I'll pick up the samples from uh, like this. Okay, I pick up the samples like this and I specify the rule by which I'm going to pick up the sample by the sampling frequency. So I say f of s, which is my sampling frequency. It is my sampling frequency and we also mention t of s or we, we call it delta t also for better understanding and t of s is nothing else but the sampling time. Right? This is the sampling time. And we had also seen they are inversely related to each other. So f of s is inverse of t of s, okay? This relationship also we had seen. And the same thing applies in the frequency domain as well. So um, if I extend this uh, graph, and let's say these are my frequency axis. So this is my f, okay? So f of s. This is the frequency axis, 0 to f of s. And I'm going to split the frequency axis into, again, same n number of points. So I'm splitting the frequency axis into n number of points again. Okay, so this is the nth point, okay? This is the nth point. This is again, this is the nth point. So I'm splitting the frequency index into n number of points. And we had seen that the separation, the frequency resolution or the separation delta f, okay? And we had established a relationship saying that, okay, this is small k, k is my running frequency index, and here this is small n, running time index, correct? And we had established the relationship that small t, which is the running time in the analog domain, gets mapped to n times t of s, okay? Where n varies from zero less than equivalent to small n less than equivalent to n minus 1. So n is going to assume the value from 0 to n minus 1 as I sweep across the time index. The same thing is going to happen here in the frequency domain. So we had seen that small k is equivalent to, um, sorry, this is the analog frequency f is equivalent to small k times delta f, okay? So we had seen this relationship and Finally, we derive this relationship that f times t, f times t is equivalent to k times small n by capital N. 
Now the question is, what happens when I do the downsampling? Okay, so first of all, we need to understand what downsampling actually means. So what I mean by downsampling is, instead of picking up the samples, okay, let's take some example. So let us say my original sampling frequency f of s. Okay, so this is the sampling frequency, original sampling frequency of getting the discrete data from the analog domain, right? So this original sampling frequency was some samples per second, okay? It is some samples, I am picking up some samples per second. So let's say 100 samples, 200 samples, 1000 samples in per second. Now what I am saying is that I am going to down sample. So down sample means instead of picking some number of samples, let's call this as x number of samples per second, I am going to pick up, let's say I am going to down sample by the factor of 2. So let us call new sampling frequency as fs, f dash of s and so what I am saying, I am going to pick up only half the samples than the original samples per second. Okay, so what it means is instead of picking all these samples, I am going to pick let's say the alternate samples. I am going to pick up alternate samples like this. Okay, so the time frame remains the same but within that time frame the number of samples that I am going to pick up will be only half. What it means is that the distance between the two sample points has become twice, right? Does it make sense? So what is f of s? Well, f of s is inverse of t of s, right? So if you want to represent t delta t in, in the units of um, uh, relating to f of s, we can say it is nothing else but delta t or t f s is in terms of the unit, it is equivalent to what second per sample, okay? So what is the time duration between the two samples? So if you reduce the sampling frequency by half, the duration between the samples will become twice, okay? So now we need to establish the relationship, what actually happens to this now? f times t is equal to k times n by capital N. Okay, it is very straightforward and uh, it is also quite intuitive but it is very important that we establish this relationship because we will come across this um, relationship at many places okay, during the signal processing calculations. So um, let us try to derive the relationship. So originally, okay, so step one, f times t is equivalent to k times n upon capital N, right? This is the original equation. What it says is that the analog signal is getting mapped into this k times n by capital N. Now I want to derive the relationship when I am reducing the sampling frequency. So this relationship was derived at some sampling frequency fs. But now I am changing the sampling frequency. So let us say now my sampling frequency has changed to fs by 2 then in that case what is going to happen to this? This will remain as it is, right? This is the analog signal, so nothing is going to happen here. Whatever change is going to happen is going to happen in these indices. Okay, so let us derive the relationship. So we'll follow the same relationship here. So before, how many points we will have if you downsample by the factor of 2? So instead of n, I'm going to have half the number of samples, right? because I am picking up only half the number of samples. So let us take some example. Um, let us say that before, originally, originally I was picking up I was picking up, let's say, 100 samples 100 samples per second. Okay? but now I'm going to downsample, okay? So this is my fs. Now I'm going to downsample. So f dash of s, I'm going to pick up only 50 samples. I'm going to pick up only 50 samples per second. I'm downsampling by factor of 2. So it means that the capital N has become half of the original N, correct? So can I replace this capital N by N by 2? Okay, so let us replace this capital N by N by 2. Now, what happens to this k and n? Let us try to see some relationships. So now, we have seen that k is equivalent to what? n times. So I will replace k. k is equivalent to what? It is n times delta t. Correct? n times delta t. Now, this delta t, I will call this delta t as delta t dash, which is my new sampling frequency. Correct? 
related to the new sampling frequency delta t dash and what was n um, sorry what was k k was equivalent to delta f okay um, let's do one thing I will do this uh, relationship uh, derivations in our next video I'm running short of time so um, I'll see you in the next video